we have to replace our equipment that you lost when we lost you. We, we, we didn't just lose you. We lost equipment. Damn, I need a new chopper. Right. Now I need a new maintenance crew for my new chopper. <laughs> it's, it's just a weird thing. It's a weird thing to think about. Like, we actually sacrifice American lives so that we can sacrifice more American lives. So the original guys who sacrificed American lives can look like heroes. Yeah. One bad yeah. guy sacrificed a bunch of Americans, then sacrifices a bunch of American soldiers, and then sacrifices a bunch of foreign lives, and then stands up and goes, look, I'm a hero, everybody. Look at me. I'm a hero. I stopped, I stopped all this terrorism. After I after I created it and led to thousands of of lives, I saved five people. Everyone, give me my purple heart. I it cost me two thousand lives to save these three lives that earned me my purple heart. <laughs> I had to kill a hundred American soldiers to be put in the situation that would make it look like I was a hero and saved one American soldier to get my purple heart. It's fucking nuts. I I stabbed the whole military in the back so they could. Parade me around. And this is interesting. Imagine you, Big Smalls. You, you you get recorded brutally raping and torturing somebody. And then the military, throughout your career, slowly starts to build you into a hero. But the bad guys, for years, since the very beginning of your first day, even before you started the military, yeah, they've been tracking you by your drugs and your prostitutes. They've been slowly... Look at what the military does to people they know rape, pillage, and steal. These are the purple hearts. These are the, these are the, these are the bronze stars. These are, these are the guys with these are the guys that the presidents give medals to. That's the bad guys. You see what I'm saying? The bad guys can do that. Yeah. Look at Biggie. Here he is. 17, hookers and blow, prostitution, all kinds of bad shit. Here he is joining the here he is joining the military. Here, here he is, hookers and blow again from bad guys. Here are the bad guys yeah. tracing him back while he's on deployment, taking out his fucking helicopter because he does hookers and blow. Here's the military going, fuck, he got his team members killed? Let's put him on TV and make him a hero. Right. <laughs> see, see, see right. People? look, people, they knew he did drugs and was getting his team members killed, and they made him a hero for it. They told the rest of the military, this is the guy that is the hero. So the rest of the military can now be set up to be infiltrated. And follow in their footsteps. Right? We used one bad guy to set up a bunch of other men. Right? Because now you... I. Oh my God, Biggie. You're a hero. Can I get your honor? I, I, I want to be involved with what you want to be involved in. Well, right. I don't know. I don't know people got you on video fucking raping and killing people. Now they think I'm a rapist and a killer. You have right, fucking, yeah. you, 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 Biggie, have infiltrated my unit, and we don't even have anything to do with you. We just wanted to get your autograph. We're, stand, we're just fucking practice training with you. We just go, we have drinks with you on the fucking weekend. My unit just drinks beer with your unit on Fridays. And because my unit drinks beer with your unit on Fridays, now everybody thinks I'm a rapist and a killer. But not, not the town, just the people who record you in the silence. Yeah, and now, you know, yeah, that's what I was going to say. And now you're being watched, too, from the shadows. Yeah. You know, just you associate. No, 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 no. But the, the, the problem is, it's not necessarily, I talk about unconventional warfare tactics, psychological mm -hmm. operations. It doesn't matter that I'm being watched from the shadows if I don't do anything bad. What matters is that, yeah. what, see what I'm saying? My unit, you, you're the wolfhounds, you rape, you pillage, you're fucking bad men. We document it, they record it, and they show the rest of the world before you boots them. Look at the wolfhounds. They're bad men. This is Martin. He's from whatever, some stupid fucking name. B, yada, yada, yada. They got boring ass names in real life. He's this stupid acronym. B, yada, yada. Yeah, but what does that mean? Fucking nothing. He doesn't do anything. He's just friends with Biggie. Right. Well, Biggie's a rapist and a killer. He does drugs and he has sex with children and Martin is his friend. You can't, we better not trust Martin. He trusts Biggie. Right. See what I'm saying? Bef my unit is now doesn't have the, 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 the maximum amount of trust we require. Right. Right. 
No, sir. Sure. We don't have the maximum yeah. amount of trust we require to be successful. And we don't even have the minimum amount of trust we need to actually be fucking used in a mission. I don't even have the, I don't have the maximum that they say is required to be successful. And I don't even have the fucking minimum to even get there. I've been, I have been fucking ambushed and destroyed before I even get a deployment. You fucking destroyed me before I even got my paperwork to fucking leave. Just by being your fucking friend, you destroyed me. Right. And, and that's real. And that's what people don't understand. That's real. That's what people don't It's fucking real. Yeah, it's... The whole thing is just nuts. I mean... I just still can't get over that. The whole point is for us to lose. Well, I, it, it's just... Yeah, it's such a weird... Weird thing. It's like, I think it, like the, the military came in my house one time after my wife was taken from me by the military. After I had a traumatic brain injury, and they're like, "We're gonna get her back," and I'm like thinking to myself, "You guys fucking took her." Of course, you have the ability to get her back, but it was right. a big deal. Like they were gonna do this massive hunt and shit. I'm like, "You guys fucking took her." And think about it. now, now I'm thinking like, For the I'm thinking like, there's women and children. Watched you guys fucking take her, so that she can be tortured, and you guys can save her. Every fucking military man associated with the men who did that. No more trust. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to tell you I trust you. Biggie, I trust you. But not really. I just watched you fucking take a woman, torture her, and then pretend to fucking save her? Fuck no, I'm not trusting right. you. Fuck no, I'm not trusting you. You're going to get me killed. Yeah. But I can't tell you that. Yeah, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I can't. Now you're getting out. But I can't tell you that. Well, how long have I, how long have I been fucking going, God damn, I can't trust Biggie? What's... Well, since before, since you, before you fucking got out of boot camp, the first time you bought fucking children prostitutes, right? And then I got to sit back and go, God damn, the chain of command actually authorizes this shit. They're okay with it. Now I can't trust yeah, your. They still have now my unit can't trust your unit's chain of command because your fucking chain of command actually allowed that shit to happen. My chain of command knows your. your my chain of command knows your fucking chain of command is responsible for making sure it doesn't happen. And your chain of command not only allowed it, they participated. Not only did they allow it, they participated. God. And that's what it's like. It's a it, snowball. It's bad. Like, I don't understand. Like, you don't understand. They go, yeah, it's like all the military men are coming around, you know, after the fact, you know, in, involved in this, in this situation. The cartel, the, the, the bad guys can go, look, one, some military men, one group of military men having sex with children and animals. And these men were willing to kill so that those men didn't go to jail. Is it because they have sex with children and animals? Why would you, Biggie, kill another man who's trying to save children from, from being raped? Why would you, Biggie, as a man, need to kill the people who protect children from being gang raped? Because they might be witnesses to something I did. But what, now, now I can, right? I can blackmail you. Well, you got to get involved, Biggie. I need you to, I need you to get involved. You're right. I, you, I did see you do something illegal. Now you need to get involved, right? I've seen you do illegal shit. Now you need to get involved. What is your choice? Right. All right. So you get involved and some kids go, God damn, did you see Biggie over there? Biggie the soldier? Those other soldiers were having sex with a dog and a kid. And Biggie came and killed the guy that was trying to save the child. Biggie came and stopped the guy who was trying to save the child. You have no fucking idea. You see what I'm saying? You have no idea. And then yeah, and, right. where's the video? Now you see a video. Here's a video of some soldiers having sex with animals and children. Here's another video of oh. fucking Biggie killing people so those original soldiers can keep doing it. Well, he must be involved. Yeah, and then that information goes back to terrorist organizations and cartels, especially when you say, then why would some of these men still be in their position if their chain of command is trustworthy? There you get somewhere. They have their job because the bad guys said they needed to keep their job. Right? We don't need, how can I black email you from Intel if you get fired? 
Hold on, I think the connection's breaking up a bit. H how do you get blackmailed for counterintelligence if you don't have a junk? Right, there's no yeah. leverage. Right. Other than, I guess, your life, but... Yeah, you need to be a hero. I need you to have your job. Oh. Mm. Without your job, there's no counter-intel. God. This shit is just insane. Like, it makes my brain... Oh. I don't know, but it's scary. Like, scary as all hell. Counterintelligence. I don't know how to, don't know how to What's scary like is... Imagine what... <laughs> they can yeah, kill that, me. That it's, it's the... I can go broke and, and disappear tomorrow. They can keep all the shit they stole from me. They can pretend I was working with whoever they want to pretend. But the problem is, it's pretend. There was people outside of those organizations. There's children outside of the, There's women. There's adults. There's other people outside of the people pretending. So how long do you keep this charade? How long do we keep fucking pretending? How long are we going to show the whole world America has no fucking honor with men in their entire fucking military. You think about that? The whole fucking military? The whole military has to cover up gang bangs, torture, rape, stealing of babies. It's the whole fucking military. The whole military. What is that doing yeah. for their reputation? Singing it down the toilet. The Nobody whole fucking them. military. That means, that means the chain of command at Fort Bragg, after they hear about the shit I speak about, they have to go, nah, I'm not doing my fucking job. Pensacola, that means the chain of command at Pensacola, after hearing about this shit in my area, go, yeah, we're not doing our fucking job. Every yeah, fucking member of the military has to tuck their tail between their legs and show the world they're incapable of doing their job. Either they get involved or they look the other way. Or end up buried somewhere. Now, yes, like they have to show the world they cannot do their fucking job, but not just now you get somewhere. How bad is it? Well, we showed not just the world, just the military can't do their job. The fucking FBI has no has no ability to actually control suicide bombers and mass shooters. They participate. The military, local police, who all was, what agencies was, was involved in this shit? See what I'm getting at? From the very first time it was reported to this very last time that I started over. How many agencies and how many fucking groups of people were involved to cover it up? Fucking dozens. Oh my god. You see what I'm getting at? The corruption is... But they didn't realize, I'm going to email all these people, I'm going to call all these people, I'm going to walk in and speak to you to your face. Watch, Biggie. I'm going to report some of this shit. <laughs> you watch what happens. You guys watch. Can you count on the fucking American military to do their fucking job? I'll be the example. I'm counting on the American military to fix this situation. Are they going right. to do... Are they? No. I'm just keep started over and over again with the same fucking bad people pretending to be good people. Right? You showed me, by showing me I cannot count on the fucking military, what did you show the rest of the world? By making sure to show me, not only, not only point me in the direction where the information is says, I can't trust the American military. You actually had me walk into their offices and ask them to their face for help. So children can listen to them be told, call the cartel. <laughs> You're fucking, you got nobody. Call the, call ISIS. Ha ha ha. Call the Taliban. Ha ha ha. Who did they really fucking tell? Couldn't call them. Me? Who, do, who were they telling in real life you're fucking isolated? Everyone. You can't trust that no one's going to help you. Not well, just they you, do. Here's the thing, though. They do. Fine. They help me helping themselves make money. They right. help me helping themselves try to look like good guys. Help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we helped Martin. Well, what did you do? Oh, we did this. But how about in the eyes of the children? You helped cover up torture, homicide, rape, mass shootings, suicide yeah. bombers. You, you helped cover up. You're part of the problem. Part of the problem, man. Part of the problem. You start me the fuck over so I can be fed some more videos of, of Tyler Cody playing fucking piano and shit after he participated in cover up of real fucking war crimes. 
I told him. Yeah, man. I just told him. Fucking start me over. I'm gonna bring it'll it'll come back up. I tell all these men, fucking air attack and all these jackasses. I, I, torture me. Make me forget. I'm just gonna start over. And kid like every time I do, that's more kids going, fuck, they did it again. They didn't want to fix the problem again. They covered up homicide and rape again. Yeah. Look at Tyler Cody covering up rape of children. Why? Why is he so concerned of co protecting men who rape children? If he doesn't rape children, why the fuck he got to cover it up? Courtney exactly. Hunt. Courtney Hunt covering up the uh, protecting men who have sex with children. If she was never paid to give those children medical care and leave them, why she got to protect them? They can't, right? They can never. They can never go to court and be like, Courtney made money off of this shit. She left the children with us. She's guilty too, right? They can't say that. So. Oh so, my god. What? She mentioned something about that one time. Who cares? If I'm not I'm just I'm just rambling. I'm not speaking about it. I'm just saying them. Yeah. They can do that. She mentioned it too to me. She's one time. She's like, I was uh stressed and sick from the situations and things that I've done in my life. And then you came and saved me. Like, no, no, no. You think you, you saw how to get out. I got a traumatic brain injury and you went, that's my way out. That's my way to fix my conscience. Right. Literally. Right. It was her way of fixing her conscience. It had nothing like. It's kind of, it's kind of ironic, isn't it? It's almost like the same thing in Christianity with, you know, going to confessional, like, oh, you know, Jesus will forgive me of my sins. Now, let's think about this. After she got me in her life again to pretend I hunted her to write my information for my book, just popping up, getting paid for sex trafficking. Let's be realistic. She got a paycheck. Some some military, some police officers raped women and children. They knew they Courtney would keep her mouth shut, participate, whatever. And then God revealed herself, or you know, she tells everybody. Then God showed itself to me, the Creator. Why then? After you, right after she said she was hunted, so that she could share some information that the creator watched her turn her back on for money for for children to, for men to have sex with children. Why? Why then? You see, I'm getting like people don't understand. Why could you see it then? Yeah, I know. Ex yeah. Why then? And then the thing that her husband said. Yeah. I yeah, right, and, then, and she got to meet God. He, God showed up and went, holy cow, I didn't think my creations could be so bad. Bye. <laughs> holy cow. And yep. Gordon, he's like, I'm not your psychological operation, Martin. And I'm like, you're pretending that we went to fucking school together. I'm not your psychological operation. Like, yeah. you're both pretending all of the... Literally, she tells me all the time, I'm not your psychological operation, Martin, and I will always come back. Blah, 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 blah. You know? I'm like, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. You used my, my information for money. <laughs> of course you keep coming back. Like, I know that. Like, I, I know greed is very powerful pull. But I know, you know? Yeah. And... <sighs> and I, I'm, I, you yeah. know, I, I ramble, but I, I think about, why then? Right when children, literally, I got family, I got people that were involved. They know I didn't. I didn't know the lady. She just, literally. There's state patrol, local sheriffs, five police departments. There's all kinds of police departments. Go. He didn't know that lady. She showed up. Weirdly, when we called, she showed up to give medical care with a certain military man. Huh? Called a different department calls, and she showed up with certain military men, and their DNA is the only DNA at the crime scenes. Their DNA is there before they show up to give care. Doesn't make any sense. But they're they're the they're the, they're the ones giving the care. They're the ones doing the take the, the help. Their DNA is at the crime scene every time before. Huh. Oh my god! Their DNA is at the crime scene before the good guys show up to right. I show up. I collect DNA. Oh my god! There's some bad shit happening here. Got to get DNA. Come back. And go. Oh, it's Martin and Biggie's. What? That doesn't make any sense. Martin and Biggie, that's, he's the doctor and the military guy that we call to deal with this. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit, again, get DNA. Let's collect evidence. They were there again?
they were there before the crime took place again. It doesn't make any sense, but we know that they're the, we know Biggie and Martin is the doctor and the military guy who show up. So let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. Fuck every time, man. This is weird though. Every time their DNA, Martin's DNA is there before the before we call him to come give help. His DNA is already there. His fucking military guy. His fucking DNA is already there. This is weird. Well, yeah, that's when when it's not Martin and Biggie's. It's the criminal, the, the perpetrator of the crime's DNA. Right. Yeah. And what did you take DNA for? To figure out who the crime, the victim, who the perpetrator was. Who's the predator? Oh. What was the result? Uh, just the people who keep showing up to help. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Weird. <laughs> just the people who show up to help. They didn't fucking start me over. <laughs> start me over. Start me over. It's brutal fucking torture, brutal abuse. Yeah, so... I, I don't know. I just... Boop, boop, at boop, this boop, point... Boop. <laughs> at this point, I don't, I don't know what to do about nothing. any of that or... I don't trust yeah. anybody. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing to do. I learned my lesson. I you just mean, like, me. even from yourself. There's nothing. I learned a lot. You guys taught me a lot. You got. You have no idea. Right. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about humans and, and, and human nature. I learned a lot. Yeah. I, I just can't even imagine that, especially you said ever since you're little, like I just can't imagine. I don't know. I couldn't imagine an existence like that. You know? Yeah, it's, the humans are disgusting. You guys are a disgusting race. You're just, just disgusting as a species. You, you, you think about, in order for me to talk as clearly as I am today, it took a lot of exercise, a lot of, a lot of, a, a lot of work mm -hmm. in, in, to, so that I couldn't communicate. Holy shit. Right. Holy shit. There's a fucking military in here. Grown ass men crying with me about my wife. Fucking nuts. Yeah. So, I mean, just a bunch of animals. Terrorist. For the most part, it is just a bunch of animals. Terrorist organization. It, it, I mean, think how crazy that is. If you apply to what they did at my house, they would be in jail for real life terrorists as terrorists if we actually treated everybody equal. Right. Think about that right. shit. Right. Real life, real life terrorists by law. The definition of the law. If you just didn't add anything extra to the situation, you said, "Here's the law." We're not going to add anything. We're not going to take anything away. We're just going to hold this information at face value. You go, fuck, there's a lot of people that got to be arrested for terrorists. There's a lot of people that got to be arrested for rape. There's a lot of people that got to be arrested for homicide. It's a whole lot of people. And they go, well, yeah, just let them on. The Let's just show the world that we don't hold that. We don't do anything for that. Let's set an example. At the military bases, I next to the military base. You can't. We can't. Let's just show the world. Even at the bases, we can't keep men in line. It's it, like they, they. It's fucking eye opening. Like I'm like wow. Yeah. Like I get better, and I'm I, like, wow. Holy shit. Holy shit, Biggie. Yeah, I bet. I holy bet every shit. time. I can't, like. I go places, a lot of people show up the same place, wear the same thing. So I know I'm a, I'm a lot more popular than I'm led to believe. And I think, man, if I'm as popular as everything shows, not as I'm led to believe, this is a, this is a lot worse than I think it is. Right. There's a lot of eyes on it. This is a lot worse than I think it is because they let it keep happening. See what I'm saying?
it was the children. So they set it up originally so children could go, oh, this is how you call the FBI. This is how you call the police. This is how you call the military. And we're sitting back going, we went through every organization and the kids won't contact anybody. They now think that we showed the kids, the FBI are rapists. We showed the kids, the airborne Rangers try to create suicide bombers. We showed the kids, the Marines try to create a mass shooter. We showed the children, the Pierce County sheriffs participate in raping children. We showed the, like how many fucking times you got to start me over. (laughs) How many, Right. Like, yeah. How many times does it need to be documented? How many times? We showed the kids a member of the military and some men in some police uniforms extort money and information to give to Courtney Hunt. They recorded it. Like, you can go to the Middle East and go, look, the military. See the police taking money. Martin is freaking out, telling his wife not to give the money. His wife is scared that they're going to be terrorized again and gives them the fucking money. Martin's telling his wife, while he's hurt, it's not real. We have to go to court, right? To give money, we got to go to court. There has to be a court order. We have to go to court. You have to have a court date. I have to have a court date. Did we get a court date, babe? No, no court date. It's not real. It's extortion. It's racketeering. It's fraud. But they're going to mm-hmm. throw, they're threatening to throw my, they're threatening to throw my wife in jail if she doesn't pay them the money on the spot. They're threatening to throw Either me in jail. Though. Huh? Yeah. I said, either way, it's... But we didn't go to court. We did not go to court. We did not have a representation by a lawyer. We didn't have representation by anybody. But a military and a police demanding we give our money and my information to Courtney Hunt. And at that time, too, weren't you and your wife, it was court mandated for you not to give out it, now we're getting somewhere because I, I already had all the information. Now we're getting my book. My it was already I already created it all. So I got her. Oh, I, I got her, and they said you can't. You and your wife both. No, they said in real life, a judge said your wife was almost murdered when somebody tried to get her to sign some documents to give a baby away. This is from a judge. Your wife was, and I'm like, what? They're like, take some breaths. Your wife was almost murdered. When somebody tried to get her to sign some documents, giving a child, giving one of your guys' children away. Like, I don't have any other children. What are you talking about? Right, because you, because they don't remember. They, they, now we're getting somewhere. I hadn't been, I hadn't spoken to anybody in a long time. They don't know what I do remember, what I don't remember. Right? The judge doesn't know shit. They're just like, remember, don't sign anything. Your wife was almost murdered trying to get her to sign some paperwork to give a baby away. I'm like, fucking what? We're not sure who tried to murder your wife so that she would give a baby away. We're not really sure. We're not really sure who tried to murder you to try and get you to sign a baby away. But you guys have children and property that people keep trying to murder you guys to give away. Well, that's that's interesting. And then, guess who shows up? Right. Me and my wife were almost murdered. My son was almost murdered. In the middle of us almost being murdered, all they got for information from witnesses, from another house, and children coming, you know, hearing what's going on, they wanted them to sign something to give a baby away, and some some information they needed to sign some legal documents to give away a baby and some information this is from other people so me and my wife never actually told the court this the court got this from the original situation one of my neighbors might have been a teacher or something she's like holy shit i pretended nobody was home they tried to fucking get them to sign a baby away while they were threatening to murder his son rape like it was fucking bad so it couldn't possibly, then at that point, there's there's no way it was possibly just some traumatic, like, delusion almost. It was, you were told this, and you hadn't remembered. So then I start calling, now we're getting somewhere. I do, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Almost murdered, baby. So I start calling my neighbor. I start reaching out, 
anonymously, you know, hey, do you remember me? And they're like, yeah, some military people. <laughs> you used to be one of my neighbors and the fucking police and the military. A lot of people were killed. <laughs> you and your wife were screaming for days. Some fucking baby. Uh, uh, and and books of information. They just wanted information. They wanted in- they wanted to information. Okay. And you know what is so weird about it all too is in the well, I say original distribution of the Your Spark is Light book, it was like a lot of it was like her personal life. Now we're getting like somewhere. I was it. it was a scramble. Now you're getting somewhere. The book was already written and then they rewrit it as her. I was gonna I wasn't supposed to survive. It was her and her son and her daughter was, her kids were born with sin of season. Not, not a real mm-hmm. thing, but neither her son or her daughter have it. And like, I was supposed to die. I'm not like, originally, I think back in 98 or whenever, I, they were just, you sit on it long enough, I go away. Or, you know, it's been 10 years, he doesn't remember. Let's start pumping shit out. Right. Or whatever, you know, I was supposed to die. And, and my then, wife doesn't know, you know she gave. The, my wife doesn't know she was tortured to give the shit away, and I die, or they successfully kill her. Then it checkmate. Checkmate. Yeah, and then you think about, you know, the the big drive she had for wanting to get that book to the world physics convention or whatever it was. You, you, and she now we're getting somewhere. I, some people, why are you freaking out? I guess like you, you expect her to sit up there and me to sit up there about some information she's faking for the original children. Like I've been helping women and children since I was young. Like the spark of light and things, that information I've shared with women and children since I was like young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember the, the picture of um, Slick Watts. Another thing I wanted to ask you real quick, just just super irrelevant. Is it true you met Prince? Oh, he's the this coolest. My thing, my thing. Cool. This is my thing. And I, uh, I met Prince, and I told him. Uh, if, I'm gonna, if I say a phrase, like, because I'm just weird. I'm going to say something, and if it's, if it's real, you're no longer the Prince. This is it. The seven seals of a rainbow reveals a body of light that is real light when all seven seals unite. In the covenant that arcs, the Ark of the Covenant. What body of light? The body of light. The creator with a head, a torso, two arms, and two legs that truly does sacrifice itself on a cross over from energy into all the matter you need to be created in its image. And its glory is too bright for you to lay your naked eyes upon. And he changed his name to the artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I take it back. You're the coolest of the cool, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> well, so just, like, he, he, why, why do you call yourself Prince? I'm the, it's like, I, I name myself uh, the Prince prince of Music, Prince of the World. Like, you know, I, I, I'm the Prince. I was like, well, hmm. hmm. Think hmm. about this. This is like, because I don't speak, you know, I don't, I just, now play your guitar. Type of deal, like you know, jam on some music and and um, right. Let it. Like if you're a comedian, tell me tell me thirty minutes worth of jokes and I'll be on my way. <laughs> right, right, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna make like we don't have whatever your normal routine right. is that you do for fans that you do the best. Do that, and they just look at me like what? I'm like, well, I go to restaurants when I have to give a review, and I say, can you tell the cook to make whatever they make the best of? So I give them a fighting chance. You make me the whatever you make the best of, and that even if it's not on the menu today, and that's what I'll have. Right? And it's just you you put on your spiel, whatever it is that you do for every fan that you think is the best one. And we'll call it a day. <laughs> oh man. It's well, like, you you know what it Oh, sorry. There's a, there's a, uh, s- some of them just don't eat like uh, uh, um I'm not even going to pretend to be fucking Shaquille O'Neal anymore. You call me this, right? And and I'm going to go take. I'm going to the bathroom, and and, and my house needs to be cleaned. Or <laughs> you're like, okay, I don't have to be a star. 
I got lawn work to do. <laughs> like, right? Yeah. I don't have to be a star. <laughs> okay. I got kids to go spank. <laughs> like, I gotta spank my children, <laughs> and I can't have right. anything. I can't have any fans in the house when I'm whooping my kids. Oh my god, that would be right. You can't have any fans. In house. Like, I learned that from a, from a guy. You can't have any fans in your house when you're spanking your kids, Martin. <laughs> well, I'm like, why not? Because they might not be your fans anymore. You're not a dad. You're not a you know. You're not a husband. You're not a you, mm -hmm. you, you know. You're something. You're, you're you're not. It's not human. You're, you're not. And it's like, yeah, like um, yeah, it's just like an idol. Yeah. But the the really interesting thing about the Prince thing is there's I'm sure you probably heard it. There's an interview where he uh talks about he was born epileptic and his family didn't really have the money to get him the proper treatment and didn't understand it well. Um, but he said that his mother had told him one day when he was really little, he uh, had was in his room and he came out and told his mom that he wasn't going to be sick anymore, that he saw an angel and it told him that. And from then on, he never had another seizure. That's sweet. Right? So, I just thought that was really, really cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I got to meet a lot of people. You think when 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 you when you can do weird things with stuff that norm it's not normal, like like uh, adults they try to bribe you with stuff. You know what I mean? You want some candy? Right. You, you know, you want to go here? And I I really wasn't into materials. You know, I grew up pretty poor, so you get you're pretty thankful with the things that you have when you don't have much. So mm -hmm. it, it they like. They couldn't get me with bags of candy or, you know, bicycles and shit like that. So it ended up meeting people. You want to meet the person in the box? Yes, I do. <laughs> yep. It was when I was younger. I didn't think they were real. <laughs> like that. You know, I see you on the screen like that. Right. That, that was like me too. Like I would, I, I don't know. Like I just spent, like my mom would work all the time. And um, I'd be at like my grandparents or something. But I'd spend all my time in the basement on you know, video games or, like, the computer, just learning about whatever I was interested in or, like, something I'd hear about on TV. I'd be like, what's that? Look it up, you know? Um, but um, because of that, yeah, there is, like, a weird thing where it's, like, a disconnect of, like, man, these these aren't real. Like, so, <laughs> these people I, aren't I didn't real. think they were real. So I didn't think the people in the box, the TV, were real. Because I watch a lot of little cartoons and shit. So then somebody had to explain to me they were real. And I didn't really jump through any hoops for materials or things. It was like, you want to meet somebody? And I was like, yeah, I want to meet the people in the box. Because mm. uh, after I was told they were real, people didn't realize all I was watching was cartoons on my own. So I thought all the cart like, the people in the box are real? Like, there's there's a fucking unicorn somewhere? I haven't seen it? Like, <laughs> like where's Peter? <laughs> Where's Pete the fucking dragon? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I was walking around yeah. up in my floor, like, fucking Pete the dragon's real. Like, and nobody's at, like, I didn't get to see Pete the fucking dragon. Like, I was mad. Uh, so, <laughs> so then I, I'm, I'm going to plan it out. So I'm like, okay. And you meet, you meet some, some person. I'm like, okay. So one person in the box is real. Okay. I'm okay. All right, I'm on my list. I'm like, I've met 50 humans in the box that are real. Where's Daffy Duck? <laughs> like uh, my experiment. This was my experiment. I didn't ask for cartoons. I didn't ask for people. Somebody come in the room and say, "Oh, you look like you're enjoying that. You know that. Do you want to meet that person?" I was like, "Okay, we're we're at a hundred. A hundred of the people they asked me to randomly meet, and I said yes to see if they were real. Were fucking real. I'm like, oh man, the odds, statistically, mathematically." I'm on the verge of them asking to see a cartoon. Maybe tomorrow yeah. when they ask me, it'll be Donald Duck, Goofy, <laughs> you know. Oh, mathematically, statistically, it's gonna, you know, it's got to match up. Like eventually, they're gonna ask, yeah. hey, "Do you want to see fucking, you know, Curious George or you know, Teddy Ruxpin?" 
Like, am I going to get Teddy Ruxpin? Mm-hmm. Is he going to be on the, but I was just basketball players, football players and musicians. And yeah. Then I started Man, going, you know, we're at 130 people in every place. I've never seen a cartoon. <sighs> Some of these places I've seen people dress up as cartoons. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Maybe we'll have some something in the future. Right? Where's Pete the Dragon? Yeah. Peter Dragon? This is interesting. Where did Peter in the Bible see Jesus? Um, Does anybody know? While we're talking about Pete, enter the dragon, Peter the Dragon, and the uh-huh. sword. So yeah. You find when you wandered around the forest. You think about it. so Pete the Dragon, yeah. at Christopher Robbins, Christopher Christ's offer where Robin resides, the man in the burning bush, the body in the burning bush. Mm. Pete the Dragon, right? Pete, who's Pete? There's a Peter in the Bible, but he never actually saw a Jesus. The original information, his name's not even Peter, and all it talks about is this guy not eating for days on end and wandering around in the woods until all of a sudden. A body of light, which would be as mythical as a dragon, just sat on a mm-hmm. fucking branch in front of his face. Yeah. A, I, I think think about that in like Dragon Ball Z, like Seven a, Dragon Ball. Yeah, so you go where, what particular part of a tree did Peter see this body of light? Peter in the Bible, who's not even his name, that saw Jesus allegedly. You read more and 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 the person's name's not Peter and they actually have an infatuation with fucking bird's nests. Hmm. Huh. This is on the kid. I'm like, so Peter originally <clears throat> saw a mythical creature in a tree like a dragon. Where, where Christ's offer Robin, where, where, where Christ's offer would sit where Robin resides. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Work. It's a fucking puzzle, and it's amazing. Like old Vietnam veterans, like there's no way you can fix this. Like Peter the Dragon, and, uh, like yeah. Now a, a bird's nest. I'm like quill. Bird's nests are filled with feathers. Quills. Is there anything Peter and quill? Bird's nest. Peter bird's nest. Peter quills. Peter Peter fucking robin. Peter duck. Peter. Fucking woodpecker, Peter Canadian Goose, and they literally come back and go, Peter Quill, Star Lord. So we we move from a puzzle from Pete the Dragon, Christ offer where Robin resides. So I'm infatuated with Peter in a bird's nest, Peter in a in an egg. I'm like Peter Egg, Humpty Duck. Like I'm just rambling and rambling. And these men are just bringing shit back. And they're like, there's a Peter Quill, <gasps> Peter Quill. a bird's nest. Has a quill in it. Christ offer a Robin quill. Matter of fact, Christopher Robin. Christ offer where Robin resides. A body in a burning bush. A Star Lord. A Star Lord. Now, if I use a nest like Peter that has a quill behind a tree when the sun is setting at the thirty-third degree, the star, the star. The Star of David will appear, Star Lord. And literally, mm-hmm. after the star appears from using a quill and a fucking bird's nest, a body of light has a virgin birth, just like the Lord in front of you, out of that star. Star Lord. It literally <laughs> it literally goes, Meow. Here I am. Yeah. I've been here the whole time. You know, you know what's uh, really interesting about that is um, the uh, type of star that our sun is is classified as a G. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. But you see how interesting that is, though. It really works. It's really like I'm as a kid going through this stuff, and they're like, "You're crazy," and I'm like, "Well, okay." Peter Egg, Peter Duck, Peter. Peter Parker, I'm like all kinds of Peters. Peter Bird's Nest, mm-hmm. Peter Goose Down, Peter Quail, Peter Everything. And you, like, 
you know, old men, I gotta go research this shit. They like the computer. Like, I just put in Peter, and it comes back everything that, you know, it'd give me Peter Quill. But I don't have a computer. I got old men. They gotta go out and look, read comics, and fucking right. go through books of the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey, Dewey, and Decimal System. Got them working hard. The Dewey Decimal System. They, look, they come back. Peter Quill. Star Lord. I'm like, that fucking matches. Yeah. The magic no, membranes. No. Peter Quill. And it, you follow the cryptography in real life. It's If you can find the star, you are the son of a god. Jesus was the son of God, and Star-Lord was the son of God. Peter, Peter Quill was the son of God. It's very, like, like that's the, like the puzzle. That if you can do it, you are the son. Like, that's it. You are the son of God. Like Peter Quill. If you can use a quill like Peter Quill, you are the son of God. If you can't, move along. <laughs> Basically, we got other people to check. Right. <laughs> Star Lord. You know, another thing that's really interesting about that is the whole Roy G. Biv, again with G in the center, but like the um, on the like like the electromagnetic spectrum, or at least the visible light spectrum that we can see. Green is, like, the most, for lack of a better term, balanced, especially when it comes to biology, like plants and photosynthesis. Um, I, I was reading up about it, like, the chloroplasts, um, the reason that, like, leaves have a green hue um, is because it's optimized to absorb... Uh, what is it? Red and blue? No, not red and blue. Um, Inhalation of a certain electromagnetic radiation. Yeah, but I can't remember exactly. Basically, photosynthesis. The plant is breathing. What color is yeah, it breathing? Yeah, photosynthesis. It's so but it's not breathing air, it's breathing a color. What color is it breathing? Go ahead, Biggie. Well, for, for me, green, however... There's more than that that I cannot perceive. Yeah. It's very fascinating, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And so, is, does a black uh, absorb all colors of light? Yeah, but that's the thing. If the plant were black, then it would be, it would be too much. Too much UV radiation for it to oh. handle, and it would burn out. Oh, that's what you said. Now a bird's nest with some quills in it tipped on its side, like a like a bowl on its side, all black, it would burn out the other bright colors that were preventing you from seeing something. All the colors oh. are turning. Right? I can't see anything. All the colors are there, but this the, the, this perfect black in a in, in a in a quill from a bird's nest, there's only two colors and damn. Now that there's only two colors, what is that body that looks just like me? That dude, that's got there's a head there. Wait a minute. Hey. And it's got a halo. And there's wings. There's a neck, a torso, two arms, and two legs. And it's holding what appears to be a yellow book or a scroll. I've heard about this. I've heard about this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. As soon as you said the the quill, I was like, wait a minute, it's black. <laughs> Wanna see in the dark of night? Like a Batman, then you need to learn to listen to nature's sidekicks like a Robin. It's a double entendre. Mm. Right? I need to learn to listen to nature's sidekicks like a Robin. But Robins don't use sound to see. Huh. These riddles are getting deeper and deeper. And these are how many t people have watched that. And I wait. You got to learn to listen to nature's sidekicks like a Robin. Because they warn Batman when danger is near. But they don't actually use their fucking eyes or ears or what do they use? They're not listening to the bad guys come. Their eyes are placed on their head a certain way so they can see anything bad coming. They actually don't even have fucking ear ears like we do to catch vibrations to hear anything. Right? We have earlobes because I need to hear danger. A robin doesn't have ears like I do. They're actually sunken into their head. They don't really rely on it for that much shit. They were, they were, they can be sunk in their head because they listen to high pitched chirping, 
bird songs, right? Bird songs are not the same thing as something creeping up, dangerous, different type of sound. So their ears are tuned for listening to high pitched sounds, not something being quiet trying to hide its, its itself to sneak up on you. Their eyes are trained to see shit that you can't see, though. You need to learn to listen to nature's sidekicks like a robin. But robins actually don't listen. They see. Christopher, mm. Christopher Robin, Christ offer where a robin resides. Fuck, if I had the vision of a robin. You could see forget. danger before it even gets anywhere near you. Well, not necessarily danger. Wouldn't, wouldn't the creator show up before danger is near? You could use it as... Um, yeah. Just like any device that's used to see... You're saying danger. Now we think, what is danger? Something that's going to kill me? Well, before I die, would the creator step over me and watch that take place? If somebody was going to kill me, would, would I be important enough for the creator to show up and watch? And could, could I use these things in nature to see the warning that the creator got before I did or before any else, anything else did. Right. Oh man, you're right. It is getting deeper. <laughs> but you know, think about that though. A Robin doesn't yeah. see danger or hear danger. It sees danger. Christ right. for Robin where <laughs> Christ offer Rob Christ offer where Robin resides and where Robin resides. It doesn't see, hear danger. It sees it. It has that the whole and it's seeing the dark of night like a Batman. It's not actually telling. I mean, it's teaching me how to see in the dark of night. But there's, mm -hmm. right, once I get the, once I understand the, the parable, it's a parable teaching me how to pay attention to listen. Now I got it. What is the hidden meaning? Robins don't actually listen. They see. What's the big deal about seeing something where a robin resides. What would a robin see on a perch? A body? Burning in a bush? <laughs> you know, it's interesting too, the see in the dark of night like a, a Batman, but if you were to remove that, almost like infrared outside of our perceivable light spectrum, like the visible light spectrum for humans. I just wonder, like, what... I don't know. It's just, like, imagining what the world would look like outside of this small sliver. Like, just... It's very I don't know. Like, you can look up... Yeah, you can look up videos of, like, I guess simulated or some technology that can go beyond our spectrum but it's still like it barely scratches the surface i feel like yeah it's very interesting that's why I, who's raw why, why do you want to know who raw is every time you guys show up to do something stupid raw shows up first so i'm just curious oh sorry um i actually have to go for a bit but Maybe we can talk again later or something. Bye. But, yeah, for sure. Who's next? <laughs> See how looking like my dad? I should shave my mustache. Let's see. Go live. Call a Robin. Call a rabbi. Call a Robin. What's up? How you doing, sir? Yo, where are you from, actually? Like, I've never, like, went into it deeper. I'm from Washington State. Dope. I'm a little small country. You cut, you cut off. I'm sorry, your internet cut off. Oh, sorry. I heard small uh, country. Yeah, it's a small country. It's called Latvia. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
it's really cold out right now. Yeah, I, that's I. I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but I think that's a place where it gets so cold in the winter you can throw your coffee out the window and it turns into powdered frozen dust. Oh, no, it's not that cold. It's just like... Is there areas there? I'm trying places. to think. Say the name again. La La Latvia. Might be sounding some. Okay, it's all right. Might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. It happens. Anyways, anyway, how would you... Go ahead, sorry. Uh, the pigeons spy the fuck out of us here. <laughs> scary. Dude, they're so fucking scary. They look right so weird. survival. <laughs> they know your prey. They know you provide food. You are their food exactly. source. They Isn't sometimes want to attack you, but they don't. <laughs> right? Isn't that so interesting? Pigeons? They they now recognize humans as food. Like, animals now are just attacking... We used to attack animals for food, and now, as time progresses, the animals are attacking us for food. Yeah, exactly. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, the birds here are fucking insane. <laughs> they are insane. I agree. Imagine if they were all starving to death. You'd be screwed. Oh, they are. Sometimes they are. You can get enough of them together. Yeah. That's why That's why I put out raw meat for them outside so they don't starve. I, I put out a lot of raw stuff for the animals. I put all kinds of stuff out. Oh, yeah. And I kill my own meat. Oh, nice. Good for you. Yeah, it's fun seeing all the animals die. Yeah. It. I agree. I drink their blood. A lot it's of people do. I know. I know a lot of hunters that drink drink the blood and they eat, take a bite of the heart or something like that. Just different things. Chunky. I'm sorry, you cut out again. It's real chunky. Yeah. Well, if you, I mean, yeah, it does get coagulated if you let it sit too long. You want to hang your your your. You want to get your 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 kill dressed. Hung, you know, hung and dressed as quickly as possible. Oh, no, I drink it fresh. Like, as fresh as it can be. And it's still, like, real chunky. Good well, that's not, what I mean, I'm trying, like, I've actually dressed the deer in, in animals, and it's not chunky right away. Well, maybe so. because it was a pig. Yeah. Like a well, it's, you know, it also, you know, depends on surface bacteria and viruses. The blood reacts differently to different things, so. Damn, my brother's a biologist. I, I don't really go into that stuff. Nice, nice. So yeah, watch out for the birds. All right, you have a great day, sir. God bless. <laughs> watch out for the birds. Birds. If you don't know, is what civilians in other countries call the Air Force. I don't speak any Spanish. I like your cut, G. What's up, Martin? Not much. How you doing, sir? How are you, man? I'm doing. Ooh. Is that yours or you work somewhere? You, you talked to me oh, there before. You, you yeah, talked I didn't to see me you. about the silver bullet. Yeah, I didn't see you. So, And we're at a different angle. So, How you been? Good. And you, man? Pretty good. Me, me and my brother were just listening to you right now. We're like thinking of questions to ask you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just something to think about. You were, you, you, you were talking to me one time about somebody being down to their last 200 bucks. Oh, that, that was, that was me. I, I got robbed a long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Taught me yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it, I, I, it's so interesting. I was thinking about that, you know, um, I, this is, I, you you see me in my house here, right? Right. This is the house me and my wife own. It's very interesting. One time the military forcibly removed me and my wife out of our house and, 
and placed us with civilians who thought we were down to our last 200 bucks. And they did this with other people so that the civilians could be recorded breaking the laws, committing felonies, so that they could be blackmailed for money later on in their life or things later on in their life. And that's what that reminded me of when you said that, you know, I've been thinking right. about that. Like, I, 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 I was like, I remember going to a few places where people thought I was down to my last 200 bucks. I own this house. I've always owned this house. And you think about the shit that they did, illegal activities that they do, taking advantage of people because they, that's what they do. They really thought, you know, when people don't have any money, you can commit crimes and take advantage. Right. You think about what, what do they do with all those videos? I think about all the civilians that participated in stuff in, in, in illegal activities, sex trafficking right. and homicide and murder, right? You know, they take you, they take you somewhere and you're recorded sex trafficking somebody uh, and the people you're sex trafficking, it's actually just torturing the witnesses. So they have a trauma induced blackout. You actually gave the trauma induced blackout to take out the witnesses. And you don't even know that. Wow. Hey, I, I have a quick question. So, I've done some research on like all the stuff you're talking about right now. I totally yeah. believe it, man. Um, have you heard of QAnon? Yeah, Q. Yeah, what do you think about that? Because it they talk about how our government and politicians. So there's nothing. On, there's nothing on Facebook, Instagram, or the public net for QAnon. Right. I do not have a presence on Facebook, Instagram, or any of that shit. Q is a puzzle from Star Trek, and I'm just weird. I make people jump through hoops. So there's a whole thing on qu for teaching physics and quantum mechanics and, and things in Star Trek. Q happens to be a character in Deep Space Nine, I think it is. I don't forget. It's all the shows, to be honest with you, that you can ask a question, and if you jump through the hoops, he will give you an answer. You can ask any question. Right, Q. You can ask a question to Q, and you will get the answer if you jump through the hoops. But most people don't know that, so Q can be whatever, whatever, you, whatever you want it to be on Facebook or Instagram. It can be, but it's not. You know, real Q is not on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. No, right, right, because he does like a, he does drops. They're almost like puzzles. Have, have you seen those? Nope. No, you, you, there's actually a specific way. I would have to ask one of my brothers, but it's, there's yeah, that's, actual, that's what I'm it's almost like WikiLeaks. There's, uh, yeah, I'm pretty interested. Uh, yeah, I, I bet, I bet that 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 website you go to has a very sophisticated IP sniffer, but not at their website address at the at the nodes. So you think about somebody having a QAnon website. I would have, right. I would have, a very sophisticated. IP sniffers, you know, uh, uh, hacking for, for your, for, uh, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, I would never go on a public anonymous website. Right, right. I have never. To ask, I have to ask my brother because it's, it's, it's pretty credible. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. It's public, so it's not, your brother got on it, and he's not anonymous, so it's not credible. <laughs> so there you go. Do you, think, do you think WikiLeaks is credible? Yes and no. So 90% of the information was planted for them to leak. So they're not leaking anything. They're just giving you what somebody knew they would give away. Now the question is, is that information real, or did they make up stuff to give away? It takes a lot of time to figure out. Yeah. For sure. And, and that's so what I different. usually do is I, I take everything with a grain of salt so I can go verify. Yeah, so you think about w WikiLinks and Edward Snowden and stuff like that, right? Exa exactly, yeah. So, we knew. So, that this is the NSA and the CIA knew before they started their jobs they would steal intel to give away. And they were given their jobs anyways to steal intel and give away. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, look at you have you sell pot, right? You're growing pot, right? Yeah. You know if you hire me, I'm going to steal your pot and your seeds. I'm going to steal the seeds you use and the clones you use and sell them to your competitor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right? You're, you know if you give me a job, I'm going to steal your clones and your seeds and give them to your competitor. Yeah. 
right? Right. You give me a job anyways, and then you give me the code to the, to the room where your clones and your seeds are. Are those your real clones and seeds, or are those some fake ones you planted so that I would steal them and give them away? Right. You get it? Yeah. Did you give me your real clones and your real seeds, or did you just set me... You you knew I was going to steal them and give them away, so did you just give me some shit to steal and give away? Right. Did, right. Did I steal your original clones, your original seeds, or did I steal the bait? Right. Interesting. What if, right? And you st I stole the bait. If you knew I was going to do it and you allowed me to do it, the only thing I fucking took when I walked out the door was what you wanted me to take. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. And that, that's where I'm at with WikiLinks and 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 um, Edward Snowden and stuff. They took exactly what they were told to take <laughs> without yeah. without without knowing they were being. Somebody said, uh, you know, Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. I need you guys to steal this pillow right here. And then they went, okay. Look, everybody, you guys want this pillow? I stole it from the government. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, for sure. Can you, Julian and Edward, can you guys steal this? This chair? And they went, yeah, we'll steal it. And then they went to the world. Look, guys, look what we stole. Well, yeah, we people in the intelligence realm understand. You didn't do anything other than get a bunch of other people caught and a bunch of other people in trouble. Edward Snowden and Julian Assang are responsible for the largest arrests of anonymous members and things like that. And they knew they knew giving the information they gave away would get a lot of people in trouble in, in it anyways. It's almost as if you guys think Julian is saying and Edward Snowden are working for the people, but they're really just double agents for the NSA and the CIA. Man, what bastards. But, I that's, mean, that's crazy. So you think about putting information on, on a computer after now, you know I'm I'm Julian Assange. I'm Edward Snowden. You know I'm going to fucking steal the information, right? All, uh, you don't even put the information in there in a way I can read it. If I don't, I have to actually not only have to get into your server, I have to understand how you hid the information invisibly on your server in the shit that's there for me to look at. Now. Julian Assange and Edward Snowden don't have synesthesia. They don't have the ability to see what's hidden on government servers. They just stole what we what we knew would be stolen, that we hid in plain sight. Right. That, 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 that does make a lot of sense, though. Yeah, yeah. What? Like They stole exactly what was supposed to be stolen, and they, they'll never be able, no matter how sophisticated they get with hacking, they can't steal what they can't see. What do you think about adrenochrome? It's not real. I mean, it's real. It's real, but it causes, it causes cellular oxidization, or it speeds up death. So every time you hear somebody took adrenochrome to stay younger, it means they actually just took it to kill. They committed suicide, but then you see them, and they didn't really die, so they never, that means they never took it. It's a suicide. Really? Well, yeah, adrenochrome, cellular oxidization. What is oxidization? Fucking death, cancer, dying. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. See, I said, adrenochrome, what does it do? It kills your cells. Did you know the president takes adrenochrome to stay young every day? Oh, really? The president takes a vial full of shit that kills humans. Yep. <laughs> okay, whatever, you idiot. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what? I trip out a lot on the... The stuff you talk about with the military and the sex trafficking and the abuse, because that that kind of shit pisses me off. Yeah, it's just like yeah, that's why I think of how interesting it was for the military to to call the criminal organizations ahead of time so that they could be record so they could record the military trying to create acts of terrorism. So fat, like that's just nuts. And then, like, next time there is a, a, a large-scale terrorist act on American soil, we've already documented the American military trying to make it happen. So it doesn't matter who takes credit for it. We already know who is trying to do it. 
It takes years, years to do it. Right. Damn. You don't understand. Like, it's fucking... I think about a successful suicide bomber or successful mass shooter. I feel so bad for them. You have, like, you, you... How many times were they waterboarded? How many times were they tortured? Man, man, that's crazy, bro. Fucking A, man. How many how many times were they tortured so that that would happen? Because I know it takes a lot. I'm not the strongest person to ever exist, if you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm actually pretty fallible, right? I, this is, I, I make such dumb decisions. When I was a little boy, <laughs> you know... Sit down with Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, and they go. The kid doesn't. He's born without sin. He doesn't fucking know any better. He'll do anything we ask. Wow. So like the kid is born without sin. He'll do anything we ask. He doesn't know what he's doing, and I didn't understand. Like I'm older now. I'm like, yeah, I fucking would have done it. I did anything they asked. I didn't know any better. Like fucking anything. Yeah, anything. innocent. I. Like yeah, you want to figure out where this you want to figure out where this guy's spark goes? I do too. Ugh, like this kid is born without sin. He has no fucking idea. As I get older, I'm like, I still don't think it's I still don't understand why it's right or wrong, but I won't do it because a lot of people say not to do these things. But right. when I was born, fucking men are like I don't to explain it. <laughs> like it's just nuts. I'm just like I don't get it, man. You're talking about the military. And the, like, you, you you don't have, you have any of the years and the amount of witnesses that have to, how, how many years, hundreds and hundreds of witnesses have to keep quiet so that we can have one act of terrorism on an American soil? A lot. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff blows my mind. Yeah, that's like, like, it's not, it's not like the person just decide. like, you just wake up one day and go, fuck it, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot up a casino. No, you get up and go, man, today, the police showed up and tortured me, and the military showed up and tortured me, trying to tell me I need to kill somebody or do some bad things. Every month, for five years. And you go, well, well, fuck. I know it takes years of that shit to happen, so when you see somebody shoot up a casino, you go, that whole fucking town for five years didn't say shit? Yeah, well, what do you think about the bombing in Nashville? I don't think it's real. You think it's fake? You think it was planned? Well, I don't know. I don't think it's real because I do a post every once in a while. I say, my name is Martin Cabello. I'm famous. Really? For being, <laughs> my name is Martin Cabello. I'm famous for being the only survivor of the American military trying to create a mass shooter or a suicide bomber. It, <laughs> no way, really? Yeah. And then, that, then, that, then they put that in the news. So I don't know if it's real or not. Well, hey, ch check this out, bro. These are little plants. Look how big the leaves are. Are you going to tape it down? Or do you just let them go? Do you just, how, how do you, when, when you go into bloom, are, the, are you in your, 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 your transition for blooming? Or what part of the, what part of the no, growing so process? These, are, you these are, this is like the nursery. We're, we're vegging. So no bloom so you're, here. So just 20, what do you veg? How many hours of light? Uh, actually, we do 24 hours. Nice, 24-7. They, they, they grow fat. Like, I've done the, I think it's what, man, it's been so long. I think it was like 18 hours. There you go, eight. I was going to say, yeah, eight. Or something like that. Yeah, but yeah. I've had the fastest growth way 24 hours out of the day. Yep. <laughs> fucking tie it down and just make a giant-ass fucking rainforest. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. Right? Just straight up. Yeah, look, we put them in little... They go from this pot to two gallon, and then they go into flour. But yeah, these things go. See that, like decent. your plants. See right, your plants right there. If you did a little bit bigger, a bigger pots, uh, and you know, taping down the canopy, spreading it out, you 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 can get a lot more foliage to feed the nutrients you need for trichome production. Yeah, so we only do two-gallon pots because what we do is we grow the root ball really big, and then you basically just get one big root ball, and they require 
multiple feedings a day versus just once a day. So the more you feed the plant, you, the are, the you guys do hydroponics at all or aer aeroponics? We, we do we do cocoa. It's, it's a form of hydro. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's it's kind of like hydro. Yeah, you should dabble with uh, aeroponics. Man, you you know what? That's my. I want to do that. It's just one of those things where I don't have the time to, to go and learn it because I already have my system down. Yeah. And we, we already hit numbers as people that have been growing for 20, 30 years hit. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you'll get, there's no saying so. You, you'll get hydro aeroponics once you have your, 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 inf, your, your, you know, your, your, you've done the, you've done the, 18 hours on blah 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 shit you're on your 24 hour veg you're in your you've moved your from soil to cocoa right you're already you're literally have everything already learned you need to learn to just roll into aeroponics aeroponics is uh, after that it's just more, keeping the right humidity down underneath the root ball so they're constantly fed yeah you know what the aeroponics makes so the that's the fastest growing rate in, in cannabis or cultivation in general. Yeah, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you've already learned everything. You, you're already there. So, you, I mean, I get, just, I get scared. I, I need faith, Martin. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm getting. So, when you go soil to, to hydro, you have to learn everything from scratch, right? You're not learn. It's all new stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yep. When you switch from, from, from um, a hydroponics to aeroponics, you've already learned everything. You're just, all you're messing with is the tips for, you know, building up uh, you know, calcium or building up plaque that will mess with the sprayer. Does that make sense? You're just, you're just fine tuning the equipment. You've already learned everything. Right, right. Uh, aeroponics reminds me of this right here. Basically, what we're doing for clones. It's like, these are all the babies. Like, if you go on the bottom, they just sit in water. Yep. And look at the roots. They go crazy. Yeah. So, so aeroponics would be like, like in the pots you have now, except for there would be no, you know, there'd just be a, a, a mesh in there holding the roots in, and then the, they, or the plant in, and the roots would just hang down in the bottom and be sprayed 24-7. Right, right, yeah. Th there's a really cool system, it's called Deep Water Culture Systems. Man, they're so high-tech, you can control it off your phone. It's yep. pretty badass, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, hydropon hydroponics, aeroponics, aeroponics is the way to go. Yeah, for sure, for sure. sure. Anyways, you have a good week? Say that again? Did you have a good week? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we're really busy right now. I'm, I'm actually, when I harvest, I'm going to take my trim and break it down and make that coconut oil nice infused, the silver bullet. It works, Ma man. Mar Martin silver bullet. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I even make it. It's very interesting. Yeah, it would it'd be pretty sick. I, I don't really do edibles just because they're too strong. But I recently started taking them before bed. And there you, man, yeah, my, that's, my yeah. and that's when you're supposed to. That's when you're supposed to do it. Right? Yeah, okay. That's when you're supposed to do edibles. Well, I, got, I got one joint <laughs> I'm going to smoke tonight. I'm excited. I, I don't smoke a lot of flour, but I, I do love flour. <sighs> yeah, I was just, I was on a live with a buddy last night, and man, flour's like, we all know smoking's bad for your lungs. Yeah. But man, there's just nothing beats a nice joint, bro. <laughs> no, no, trust me. The fl I, and the problem, like, I try to tell kids, like, I'm not telling you to smoke pot, and I'm not telling you, you know, I just, I just know, I, I don't, yeah. I just know you can, you know, I just, I know it's good for you. If you know, if you have a, a medical problem and you, you actually eat it before you go to bed in, in a ketogenic state, it's good for you, man. Yeah. I remember you saying that. I remember you saying something like if you sleep like a whole night and you're in a keto state while taking cannabis, it's almost like resting eight full days. Yeah. It, that's what I'm saying. It's folding time. So I talk about, there's those, I, I researched, uh, so I, like, you know, I got autism, so I researched vampires when I was younger, and I wanted them to be real so bad. Right? I wanted, the, I wanted them to be real so bad. And the only thing I ever come across as a kid is in battle, when people would get hurt really, really bad in battle, really bad brain damage, 
you know, their, their, their armor hit really bad or take a blow with a rock or something. The, the doctors in the old days would give them a massive amount of cannabis to eat, oil, and then hang them upside down till they woke up. No way, really? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that must have been where vampire. You imagine me hitting you, you going to war, you get hit on the head with a rock or a sword or something, and your family thinks you're going to die. And they bring you to me, a medieval medieval doctor, and I, 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 I make you drink, you know, fucking... 16 ounces worth of fucking cannabis but butter, oil, or, you know, cannabis and bacon grease, or just, you know, 16 ounces. And then I hang you upside down by your feet and let you sleep for four or five days. And you wake oh. up and you're better. And you wake up and you're better. That's, you know, they probably would think it was witchcraft back then, like you were the devil. You see what I'm saying? You were dead when your family brought you to me for all intents and purposes. And then they just saw me hang you upside down by your feet. And you woke up <laughs> like I hung you, and later on you woke up from the dead like a like a vampire. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's awesome. Holy cow! But that's right, like the silver bullet. I think it like this. I'm like, huh? That that is that that's super interesting. No, he goes why? You go why vampires? You go they give them this drink. You give them the the cannabis, and they drink it, and they sleep for they, like. They healed, like their brain just fucking healed itself. Their whole, like their heart healed itself. They're, like their, and you know the stories of vampires. Their organ just healed itself in their sleep. Their brain healed itself in its sleep. Their lungs repaired itself in their sleep. You go, well, they, it's literally they just gave massive amounts of cannabis to people to eat and then go to fucking sleep, and they did wake up with a cured. You know what I mean? Right. Wow. But you know what? Prop, that's that's funny because one time I was really sick. This was years ago, like super sick, just like the like a really bad flu. And yeah. I ate I ate this edible. And usually when you take like a big edible, you take it in quarters because they're so strong. I think it was hundred. I forget how many milligrams it was. It was strong. I ate the yeah. whole fuck, fucking thing, and then I had the spins. And it was like the craziest high, and I just passed out and slept for like fourteen hours. And I woke up feeling like a new person. I was like, what the heck? Nice. Yeah, that's it's really strong. Cannabis is no joke. You, you should do some experiments with that. Like find some people that are really sick, put them in a ketogenic state, and then have them eat a bunch of cannabis while they sleep and see what happens. You, you know what sucks with people nowadays, dude, when you try to like try stuff like this and actually help people? They'll just go to like modern medicine and say, the doctors say no. It's like, well, obviously because they need a patient, they want you as a patient, just like you talked about. Yeah. And a lot of people are scared. Like diet's like 90% of everything. You can totally flip your body around. Right. You, know, you, you, you just have to be willing and consistent. Like I, with, before my grandpa died, he was having these, these migraines that would literally put him in the hospital. And I'm like, yeah, I remember you saying that. And your aunt was like, no, he got to, you got to take the pills and do what the doctors say. Yeah. Like they were literally like, like they would not let him not take his pills and the pills would just turn him into a zombie. So like for me, it makes no sense. It's like, why not just run experiments since he's already a zombie, you know, but these will, yeah, right? these will these actually work. That's my, that's my problem. Like I will experiment on myself. And I leave notes, like, like leave a note, like, <laughs> this, this, and this is the experiment for today. Hopefully you don't die. Hopefully you remember. Yeah, that's, that's cool. See, like, I like doing experiments. Like, doctors are, for me, like, I'd have to be, like, an arm almost chopped off. But, like, for sicknesses that I know I could heal with, like, food and, like, you know, working out, just, like, the normal stuff you should be doing. And cannabis, I love experimenting like that. Some people are just scared. Yeah, so you think about experiments. Here's here's a crazy one. You, you know, uh, we, we, we tell, we're, we're discovering in neuroscience, neurological disorders are, right. are, are manifested when the gut fauna and flora of your stomach get jacked up and no longer create the enzymes and things that your neuroreceptors in your intestine need to regulate your thought process. And when they get messed up, it is thought that your uh, appendix releases chemicals to restore that balance of your microfauna and flora in your intestine to regulate your thoughts. But sometimes 
your system gets so screwed up that gut fauna and flora is not a is not is no longer present in your appendix to restore it after you get sick or after something happens. No way. And, and I was looking in, in in the old days. They used to talk about gathering resources in like hot springs where there was a lot of sulfur and chemicals that would kill the cut fauna and flora you have, and and how. Uh, um, aged meat, fermenting meat, letting meat dry age, like just, you know, soak in its own enzymes for, for, right. for a half a month or a month. Um, they used in the old days to restore, but they didn't say your stomach. They just used eating raw meat in the old days when you come out of, out of these places where, where they had sulfur and things that would kill your gut, fauna, and flora. They ate raw meat to fix whatever problems it would create. Wow, what a trip! No way. And today, yeah. So think about this. You you worked in a in a sulfur mine or something like that in the old, like literally Babylonian, Sumerian. I don't. Back in the day, you just worked somewhere where there was sulfur poisoning you, causing you to be delusional. Right. Schizophrenic, depression, anxiety, all of these bipolar disorders. Literally, I just make you eat up. You know, here's a here's a three week old piece of meat. It hasn't been cooked. Eat it, and in a, in a few weeks you're better. Man, what a trip! That's crazy. Yeah, so you were talking about nat like trying natural things for your. I think they just did that in the old days. But That's fun. You know who my doctor is? Who? My my mom. My mom studied holistic healing for I think she's almost on ten years, dude. Nice. And she she's really good. She's a beast, and she she hates doctors. I've been in the room when there's like a doctor around, and my mom will straight up tell them like how to do their job. <laughs> That's good, man. They need to be and told. It's funny because the doctors, because they have a doctorate, they, they get wild, man. You know, it's like disrespectful. Well, this is, this is what I'm saying. A psych, right, we talk about psyops, psy right? A doctor always thinks they're right because they're taught to doctor it. They got a doctorate or a piece of paper that taught them how to doctor what they know and fill in the gaps of what they don't know so you think that they know. They doctored it. A doctor. Right. That's they all funny. think they're they're always correct because they doctored it. I doctored well, in the gaps. But funny story, my, my friend, like you know, Christmas. A lot of people are coming back into town to visit their families. So a yeah. really good buddy of mine came into town. And he He's a doctor down in San Diego at a really good hospital. And he came over, and we were just chilling, smoking weed, and I said, "Hey, man, like just quick question." I was like, why are the flu deaths, or yeah, why are the flu deaths this year down like 80, 90 percent? And he's like, oh, well, you know, quarantine, the mass, that's why we're not really seeing any of the flu, and it's, it's a little bit more controlled. And I'm like, but that makes no sense because COVID is a, is a flu-like symptom. Why isn't the COVID going down and we're seeing it spike up if you're telling me? Flu deaths are going down at an 80, 90 percent rate, and man, he just gave me the most bullshit answer. Like, I, I it was just a stupid answer, bro. That's what it is. You know, what I mean? doctors are funny, man. When you think about, you think about, in order to die from COVID, you actually have to succumb to a sugar withdrawal. Do you think about that? You get so sick from COVID, you, you know, start, things start turning off, and you stop eating. And the thing that actually kills you is a sugar withdrawal. Huh. I died. I died of of this. I died of that. Well, what was the what, what did that do? It just it stopped me from eating, and I I started having sugar withdrawals, and those sugar withdrawals depleted me of the energy I needed to actually save me from my sickness. But oh shit! Think about that. If you got the flu, if your if your if your brother got the flu right now. And only had enough energy to survive for two days. Would he have sugar withdrawals, depleting that energy, killing him in a day, or would he actually not have sugar withdrawals, making it the full, full, the full two days, fighting off the flu and survive? He'd probably have sugar withdrawals, correct? Yeah, for sure. If he's been on sugar, yeah, his whole life. Now we're getting so. 
you get that's what people don't understand. You get a cold, you get the flu, you get the the coronavirus. All it's telling you is your immune system is going to fight off a sickness for X amount of days. All like it doesn't matter right. the corona, the flu. It doesn't. I am entering a fight for X amount of days. My body has to main, be in that battle for those amount of days, or have the energy so I can fight the battle for those amount of days, and I survive. I win as long as I have the energy to make it that long. I survive. When people die, well, they had the sugar. They had a sugar withdrawal. That, and, and that sugar withdrawal ate up the energy they needed to make it the full fight. Wow. They, see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I just did an experiment the other day. I got sick. And I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to fast for 16 hours. No yeah. sugar. And then I took garlic pills and these wellness pills. They're all herbal pills. And I, and I, I beat it in a day and a half. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, straight up. Legit. Yeah, people are scared, man. It packs me up. You know what's funny? Uh, I Somebody, real quick, hold on. Real yeah, quick. Somebody asked me why I'm not at Walmart. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to actually be there. I've been forcibly removed from Walmart a few times. And I have autism. And I get traumatic brain injuries. During my traumatic brain injuries, I don't remember that, I'm, that they don't like my... So I, have, I have autism, so I speak... And I like I'm talking to you. I'll do. I'll talk to somebody else like this in public. And um, I've been removed from Walmart a few times during you know when I've been hurt really bad. And now that I'm better, I remember. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid Walmart because I know that they don't want me there. But I didn't. I, I, and I apologize for going there when I was hurt. But I was hurt and I didn't remember. I'm not supposed to be there. Does that make sense? Hey, don't worry, man. Walmart's no good anyway. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I like Walmart. You don't understand. I like Walmart, but I know I'm not supposed to be there. But I go there when I'm hurt because I don't fucking know I'm not supposed to be there. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like I didn't, I don't remember. So then I have, a, I don't understand what's going on. And, and um, but I'm, I'm, my memory. I woke up this yesterday. Excuse my wife. In, in the sequence, I get this far along and I wake up and go, oh shit, yeah, they don't want me in the building. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But it's you not know, at the same time. Like, I, I got hurt. Like, diagonally, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, if I'm not, like, I'm not supposed to go to, you know, if I'm not supposed to go to your house, and I get a, I get a car crash or a traumatic brand I don't remember, and I show up in your house, you know, you could be mad at me, but I, I don't remember I'm not supposed to be there. And the thing is, you have to use your pieces correct. You know what I mean? run out space, and there's like, Know where to put your piece. That totally makes sense, man. And I understand. I understand. Like I know, I know. I know. I get a lot. I get. I get a lot. I get. People are really mean. So that I, I don't know how to explain it. Hey, quick, quick, quick question. I know on your IG sometimes you eat raw meat. Yeah. Do you like that? Like, what do you, do you find the health benefits of it actually work? I find my brain. So it's just funny when I talk about not remembering things. I, I find myself craving it, and then I after I ha literally I have a craving for raw meat or really old expired meat and I eat it and then I go, oh shit, I'm not supposed to be doing that. Like, I, like you know, I remember now, in real life, you think about this, I was just telling you about that old ass meat, dry yeah. aging meat, right? I learned from the old days. I literally just made a, a two week old prime rib. So I, I, I dry aged a prime rib in my refrigerator. I let salmonella, botulism, all kinds of viruses and bacteria breed on the outside. And I let good bacteria kill all the bad bacteria and viruses. Then I ate it. And after a few days of eating it, I went, seriously, after a few days, after a few days of eating it, I went, oh shit, I'm not supposed to be inside of fucking Walmart. <laughs> but here's the fucking problem. Like, I have autism. So if, if I don't remember, I'm not supposed to be in Walmart and you don't want me in there, I just think you're being fucking rude. I don't remember. <laughs> But I do, I do know now. I do know now. I had a thing with Walmart Project Adam or Code Adam. Blood or some shit. And it, you know, everything just got lost in the mix. All this shit. I know I'm not. I know. I know I'm not supposed to be there. And now that I remember clearly, I'll do my best not to be there till I don't remember anymore. And they hang them upside down. 
as well. So like, that's all you can do, you man. Like He's in. A, he, it's like damn. It's such a weird world. The origin story of Batman. Isn't it, dude? Well, that's, that's impressive. I know I'm not supposed to be in Safeway. I remember. I remember Safeway. I know I'm not supposed to be in Safeway. I know. I know a lot of places I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> and is is it nice out in your area up in DC? No, not really. Yeah, it's like. Almost 80 degrees in California. And then, like, and yesterday it was hailing, raining. Probably in the 50s. Yeah. What a trip. Right? Do you think any catastrophic events are going to happen in the upcoming months or year? Well, I don't know. We'll take a vote and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. I did that whole th the, the, whole, the whole thing for the pandemic. We took a vote on the internet. <laughs> I'm not joking. You think like you're new to my feed? Like we took a whole vote on the internet. No way. What did it come out to? Plague. Oh yeah. <laughs> for real? Shit, that's crazy. I'm just to say this isn't. I don't think anything's real. <laughs> hey, you have any animals, Martin? I have a dog. What kind of dog? Uh, a Yorkie Havany. Oh, nice. It's the, it's the, I, so she, she's labeled at the, at the, uh, vet, Sophie number six. It's the, it's the sixth dog that they know that's been replaced for me that looks the, like the same dog. But it's actually, still, yes, which is interesting, which is, which is, uh, because uh, I asked the people, can, can you secretly mark this dog? So if it dies and, and, and I bring another one, you'll know that it's been, it's died and I just wasn't made aware of it. Type of deal. <laughs> I'm on I'm on Sophie number nine. All right. No. What? No. What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah, I have. A, I used to breed huskies. This is one of my huskies. I have three more around the property. Look at this. We're just coloring and drawing shit. I'm a dog lover for sure. No, we're I, I I used to get dogs from the government and the military. I love dogs. Oh man, they you can get dogs with so much. They can do so many tricks and shit. Yeah, this is my other dog right here. He's a poodle. She's like one of the smartest dogs I've ever had. Nice. I think blue blue healers are probably the smartest dogs. I think. Blue healers. Yeah, an Australian oh, shepherd or something. She heard her. Yeah. Oh Those yeah, yeah, yeah. They are for sure. Yeah. Oh man. man, I agree. I had like I had a movie star one. Like it could jump through hula hoops and literally ride well, ride on a tire and <laughs> like shake hands, roll over, play dead, speak, go, beer out of the refrigerator, go get a soda. It knew the difference between cans of beer and cans of pop. It could bring an adult a beer and get a pop. A blue awesome. healer. Yeah, the dog was great. Hey, why do you why do you drink eggs versus cook them, or do you do both? No, no uh, cooked eggs for protein, raw eggs for nutrients. Oh, good point. Okay. And then, so, yeah, as far as raw, nutrients go, when they're raw, what kind of nutrients? Nutrients for brain growth and development. So in a, in a if you don't have any sugar in your system and you eat raw eggs, it has everything you need to sharp. Like it's like the you know you think about people talk about you know you're taking a test, eat a Snickers bar to get through the test. Right. Well, the Snickers bar just satiates your sugar withdrawal. If you actually eat raw eggs, it gives you everything you need to actually sharpen your mind to do better on the test. Oh. Um. It, 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 you know, it, it, it's literally just for fixing your brain. <laughs> you can do that or, wow. or internal internal oh, organs, raw internal soul. organs. She's like, what are those blue things? And I was like, well, that's their that's soul. That's crazy. And then I went on to explain it for you when you die. That is legit. And she's smiling, do you understand? She's like, no. How about you, man? How's your week going? Yeah. Pretty decent? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> So Same as before. What, what do you? So you, you don't work anymore, right? I, I no, not really. I I mean, you don't understand. Like I'm fucking falling up. Like you look at my medical records. Like 
Okay, so I, I, you know, I have autism, so I, I, I carry myself around pretty well, but I'm actually, I'm pretty fucking broken. Like, they really fucked me up. You know, yeah, you, you, you must have a strong mind, man. It takes a strong mind, because, yeah, from all the shit that I've heard you say. Well, I mean, literally, they were coming so often, I had to have the nerves in my body cauterized, so I could, I mean, think about how fucking crazy that is. We're going to come and attack you and try to kill you so often. You have to have the nerves in your body cauterized so you can still move. It's wow. Not, and you think about that shit. I had to have the nerves in my body cauterized so I could still get up out of bed. They were that successful in torturing me. They were so successful in torturing me, I had to have the nerves in my body cauterized so I could just fucking wipe my own ass. They were so successful in torturing me I had to lay face down under some imaging machine so a guy could poke a needle in my brain and in the back of my neck and in my spine and burn things so I could brush my fucking teeth. So I, so, I, so I could squeeze a tear out of my eye. I had to have the, the part of my brain stem that sends nerve pain signals, that receives a pain signal, had to be burned. They stuck a needle in my brain stem that receives the pain signal from your central nervous system. And they killed it. Oh, wow. I'm going to put it in the back of my head like this, right here. Into your brainstem. It's almost like the Matrix. So I could get up. So I could get up. Yeah, I'm about to eat four eggs, but I'm debating to cook them or just swallow them, bro. <laughs> so, uh, cooked for protein and taste, raw. For nutrients, but if you if you've had sugar today, there's no point eating them raw. Yeah, that, that man keto is so powerful. If you know what the fuck you're doing, it's intense. I was me and my buddy were you know because we've been following some of the stuff you talk about keto, and I've been mind blown honestly because a lot of people you know how people are just like hip to try new diets, but they don't really get it. Like they do keto, but they'll drink a a fucking large lemonade. Packed full of sugar. Yeah, but, yeah, but it makes total sense with the keto, with the absence of sugar and the benefits. Whew. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, I've been staring this stuff. I've had a guy come on the other day from the military who showed up to my house in real life one time. I don't know if he's in the government now or the military, but he comes on my my feet and he's like, "You've been so you've been doing this since 2008," and I'm just thinking like. No, actually, I've been doing it since like 1995 <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> it was really so. I'm like, so you guys, the military, like you guys have tracked down to 98, but but so you're still, you know, 13 years behind the time schedule. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm thinking, like, well, you know, 95. Realistically, you know, I it was, it was my first personal computer, 1995. Like I had free will to just spam the fucking world with shit. Right. And like they come on and like, so you've been doing like, cause so that means that's what's, what they've traced me back all the way to 2008. Oh, wow. Hey, you know what? A question has popped into my head about psychedelics. I had heard this guy talk the other night and he was saying what's really odd about ayahuasca. Yeah. You know, cause like, let's just say someone, Ten people in a room take shrooms, right? Yeah. Ten people are all going to trip differently, right? Yeah. So coincidentally with ayahuasca, like if there's ten people and they, they all take it up. The, yeah, but there's yeah. a reason for that. Yeah, okay, I want to I know your reason. But this is what I'm getting at right here. So when, you, when you take ayahuasca, it's considerably stronger than shrooms, so you have a guide. So you have somebody, the ten people in front of them has somebody tell them ahead of time. This is oh, what like, you like, do. like a shaman, right? Yes, okay, yes. Right, you got right, you, okay. you think of this, do this, drink this, eat this. This is when you go to the bathroom so you don't smear shit on the walls. Like <laughs> seriously, it's all lined up. So like this, you guys all go on on um, the roller coaster at Disneyland. You all see the same shit, right? Because the yeah. turns and the and the swerves are the same way. Ayahuasca is the same thing. Y'all went on the ayahuasca t uh, roller coaster. It was all. It was set up that way. Wow. That makes you know who Alex Jones is? Yeah. What do you think of that nutcracker? I don't. I, it, I so I listen to things sometimes. 
And I listened to a, I listened to something sometime, and I just yeah, I'm cool. it's it's cool. That dude is like straight up conspiracy, like cause yeah. people, like can we get people to kill each other? Yeah, he's wild, man. He's a wild card. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the, the, the mind is powerful, super powerful. Yeah, but I, I really don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do, so I have autism, so I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to talk bad of people, but I think when you guys ask me stuff and I give my opinion, it's talking bad of people. Mm, I get what you're saying. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, like people ask me about Joe Rogan. I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to have an opinion on Joe Rogan, because then it's going to come across as me talking bad about Joe Rogan. When I'm not, you guys are asking my, my damn opinion. You know what right. I mean? Right. Right, right. Uh, 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 yeah, you, know, you ask about Al Alex Jones. I don't know what to do because I all I can give you is the opinions I have based off of the facts I've been given. You, you like, uh, you know who I really like is Jordan Peterson. He's pretty good. Yeah, I like I, Trevor, I, Trevor Noah and and um, Jimmy Fallon. You like Trevor Noah? I do like Trevor Noah because it makes my wife laugh. <laughs> Happy wife, happy life. And, and that's such a true statement. My, he makes my wife laugh, and then I'm just laughing. And I don't even, I'm like, why am I laughing? He wouldn't say anything funny. But yeah. my, wife, <laughs> you know, my wife got a clint in her eye and thought the joke was funny. So. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> um, and then, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even, he sings in the car. I can't think, he's a bigger guy. Blonde. Jimmy Kimmel. No. But on the late night lineup too. He's from England. Uh, I'm not too sure who you're talking about. He does car karaoke or singing in the car with people. Oh yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about, but I don't know. His James name. Gordon. James Gordon. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah. Yeah, James funny. Gordon. Yeah, it's so think... fun. Well, one time I tried telling my aunt because my aunt's uh, she's pretty well known yeah. in Hollywood. Yeah, she works for Paramount Studios, and uh, I tried telling her about all the pedophilia in Hollywood, and she just wouldn't believe it. Well, I don't hear stuff like the crazy. Like, I'll tell you right now, I don't think I, I think the reason we have a problem is because people keep saying it's in Hollywood. It's not in Hollywood. It's the people. I don't know how to explain it. Like we, there's going to be people in Hollywood. They're going to make money and get fame, and power. Let's 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 black. Let's be there ahead of time to get them in a situation that can be blackmailed. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So I, mean, I think about my information that I have in real life. Like there's a fucking doctrine to military men over and over again, and, 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 and over and over again assaulting me and my wife, hurting me and my wife over and over again. Having us work at a fucking clothing place we're pretending she never worked there before. Oh, and I, I, I you think about Hollywood. They gotta go through that same shit. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, mostly, it's not mostly the, the, the stars, it's more so like the producers in the background who actually control the stars. I, I've done a lot of research and I've, I, I've heard of a lot of stuff. I even have friends that go to these parties in Hollywood that tell me weird stuff. I've been to, I've been to some parties. It's fu they are fucking nuts. They're, they're weird, man. It's, it's, it's a trip and a half. Yeah. In Hollywood, and you're, you're, I mean, today in, in California, you can, you can take a sex tour guide in Washington State. So you're thinking about money. It's not in Hollywood. It's just people with money. You can pay today the military to take you on a tour in Washington State where you can visit anywhere from six to eight dozen women that they will force to fornicate with you against their will or children. Wow. And the whole, like it's a fucking, I, I, like in real life, like the military was brought to my community, my house, my neighborhood. They were brought here to have sex with women against their will. So like the woman was beaten and tortured, so she'll have sex with you. Are you ready to come? Yep. 
she was beaten first, right? She was tortured. Like, there's a fucking military, like, the, the customers, the, 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 the men and the women were beaten first, they were tortured. They don't want to do this, correct? It has to be real against their will. I'm not paying money to have you have somebody pretend they don't want to have sex with me. I want someone who doesn't want to. Wow. And, and they fucking showed up. They show up. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, so, my, my, I have a, a stepsister. And uh, my mom adopted her. And they were going to sell her here in California to be sex trafficked. And my grandma found her. My my. My grandma brought her to my mom. Was like, "Hey, you need to adopt her because they're they're about to to sell her. Like her own uncle was gonna sell her." Yeah, my uncle has a kid of mine for for, for that very reason. Wow, I was like, I remember and I document everything. I, I just think it's so fascinating. Like the military shows up as the, like they're like that like it's a fucking tour guide. Like I'd like to book one. One one tour for five people raping twenty three women. Jeez. Yeah, twenty three couples. I, I, well, twenty three couples where the men is beaten inches of their life in front of the woman, and the woman threatened that she will be murdered if she doesn't willingly fornicate with my friends. That seems is that something you can do? And they're like, Yep, Puyallup, Washington. <laughs> Be here this day. You meet these military officials. They set it up. They might participate. They might not. Have a good day. Jeez. And the crazy thing is you'll tell people that and they won't believe you, but it's true. Well, that's what it's like. I, and that's the great thing. You don't want them to believe you so that the people who do come and do these things don't aren't notified right away that they're being watched. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. If you, don't, if you don't believe me, more people can show up wherever they go. That's so funny that you say that, man. I heard a guy, I think he was a Rockefeller in an interview saying, he was saying like stuff like this. And he's like, the, the funny part is, is we'll tell people how crazy we are, but because of how crazy it is and uh, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like yeah, it doesn't really, register. It, and that's true. And it's like, we'll keep doing it even though it's true, but people will always think it's fake even though it's true. Yeah. It's, too, it's so bad. It's, it's really not really bad. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, that's it's the military yeah. books tour guides to rape and torture people in Washington State. It's a fucking business, a tour business, tour guide, tourism. You yeah. can rape children and women in Washington State if you pay the military to take you on a on a vacation doing that. Jeez, man, that's freaking. Yeah, and like, wild, uh, and people are like it's not true, and I'm like, uh, good, good. I say it's not true, so that the people. Who we think about who, who, some people can document it. You think people document this shit? It's not true, but there's witnesses and people document. It. And they go, "Well, how long is the military going to cover this up? And how long has the FBI been covering it up? And not only the FBI, how long has Pierce County Sheriff been actually participating in raping women? This is getting interesting. In order to have a fucking tourist fucking attraction of raping women and children, there's a whole lot of fucking public officials that have to be involved." You can't like you can't have the public go. We can travel there to have sex with kids. Like it's we can there. That's where we like the whole, like that can't be public without actual officials turning a blind eye and participating. You know what I mean? Right. Wow. Like if, if, like if I, I start telling everybody on the internet, if you want to buy LSD, you go to your house. Right. I tell everybody that. Well, eventually the police are going to find out. Right. Right. But. Everybody still goes to your house and buys LSD, and the police never bust you. What does that tell everybody else about the police in your community? You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So, so your whole your, the police in your town know you're the go-to place to buy LSD. The military knows you're the place to go to buy LSD. Everybody in the town knows you're the place to go buy LSD, and nobody in the authority is arresting you for selling LSD. What does that tell everybody about the authority in you? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Now, okay, that same rule applies. Everybody knows you're selling LSD. The authority doesn't do anything to the people who buy LSD from you. We know in my town, women and children are being sex trafficked. The fucking country knows that. And nobody does anything about it. Why? Well, they have to fucking be in on it. 
You see what I'm getting? How does that happen? Hey, how do you know about something and the authority doesn't? Well, they do. It just means they haven't done anything. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. You know, it's funny. So I had my ex-girlfriend, I was telling her how, you know, there's a lot of pedophilia in our government and the police, like all those stuff, right? Rangers lead the way. Yeah. And then she just wouldn't really believe me. And I'm like, 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 does this not like bother you? She just like never really seems to care. But uh, I, it's crazy because even judges, a, re- a recent judge came out with saying how infiltrated the boys and girls clubs are. You know, like the Girl Scout cookies. The, it's that, fucking, that organization. It's, like, it's fucking bad. When you can take a tourist. It's a, raping children and women is tourism in America. That's fucking bad. We put on the news to you. It's Cambodia. It's Vietnam. It's all these other places. Well, all those other fucking places are coming to America. It's fucking backwards. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? Like, we're telling you everybody travels somewhere else to do it so that you don't realize they're just coming here. What blows my mind is just years ago, you were caught with marijuana, you were treated worse than someone that's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> the world is weird. <laughs> it, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? Is that marijuana, it's funny you say that. Right? It's funny that you say that. Now you're realizing uh, if the police are involved in raping people today, they were involved years ago. Well, you're not going to treat yourself very badly for crimes you committed. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The, the, mar- the There you go. The, the police aren't really using marijuana to ease their PT. There was my AI. The police aren't really using marijuana to ease their PTSD and anxiety, calm their mood, ease their aggression. So they don't have any symptoms. Like, you know, they're not using that. Man. But, you know, what a but, trip. you know, when you're a pedophile, you, 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 you know, as an co- officer and a cop, and you think it was, you know, you're treated better for, for having sex with children by the police than you are for doing drugs. Well, why? Because when the cops get caught, they hope they get that same nice treatment. So, you know how you're saying, like, like cops are involved with this and stuff? Is there, mm-hmm. like, obviously there must be, like, a chief or a sergeant that's, like, in charge and, like, recruits we don't have police. One. No, no, but, but I'm saying, like, in police forces, like, or is it just random cops at stations that try and recruit people to be pedophiles or what do you think's happening? I mean, think about how crazy this shit is. If, 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 if you're a police officer, I don't know. So think of it. See right here, I'm going to show you. I took some police officers. They came to my house and there was some shit piled right there. And I showed them. I looked at it. I said, don't, there's going to be a little explosion that goes off. Don't come back. There's somebody setting this shit up, doing something out here on purpose so that you come back. Don't come back. And they're like, well, look at me. I'm like, it's a fucking ambush. If you come back, you're being ambushed. Right. And literally, they record an explosion going off. People call 911. It's a big fucking deal. And I'm like, I hope they fucking remember. I told them not to come back. And they didn't come yeah. back. Right? They didn't come back. And somebody was mad that they didn't come back, so I got swatted. And then, uh, uh, you oh, know, a, a, a female officer... Who, had, who was the who was choked by a male officer and told she had to just go along with him raping people because that's how we did business in Pierce County, right? Uh, the police actually do the raping, and that's how they do business. He literally put his hands on her fucking throat and was like, this is how we do it. This is how it goes. Fucking deal with it. So there's, there's, like, no, good, there's no good cops where you live? Just listen to what I'm saying. That male officer... Choked out that choked that female officer, threatened her life in front of me and my wife. And then I was swatted and set up so that that female officer could be killed. And then she would oh, never, wow. have, she would never be able to tell anybody if she felt bad, if she decided to come forward later on in her life and speak up. Oh, she'd I never get what be you're able saying. to. Interesting. <laughs> right. And I told, and I said, so, member officers, if they're listening, member people. I told you guys it was a fucking setup. It was an ambush. And who came? After I told you guys it was an ambush, who came? The female officer who was threatened, who had to watch another officer a sexually assault a, a woman. It was like wow. that. Now, 
who did the slaughtering now? The, the police department? This is interesting. The authority? The mental health? Who did it? Who actually set up that SWAT for that girl to be killed? Her own fucking team. Someone on the inside. That's scary. You see what I'm saying? I warned, I warned about an ambush. See, like, not publicly. I'm like, hey, there's a fucking ambush, you guys. It's coming. We know it's coming. I'm supposed to kill a bunch of people. They want me to kill a bunch of people. If this blows up and you come back, who the fuck am I supposed to kill? You know what I mean? Right. They're egging me on to kill somebody. They're egging me on to kill somebody. And they send you. Well, who the fuck did they, who do you think I was supposed to kill if you were the one that was sent? Wow. And all you, like, you're not even, a, what did you do? Well, I just thought I just was threatened by another officer about keeping silent when he sexually assaults women. There's no reason for me to be murdered. All I did as a female officer was have my life threatened by another officer. What, what a trip. <laughs> See what I'm saying? All that female yeah. officer did was have her life threatened by another officer. And then another officer put her in a position where her life could be threatened, could be taken. In real life, a, a male officer threatened a female officer, and then I was swatted, and the situation was set up so she could be ambushed. Wow. And I told the mental health authority when he showed up with her. I remember you fucking coming, and he's on a live feed. I've never been here before. And you go, well, look at that. The mental health authority lying to me, to my, now you get somewhere, to my face about what has and hasn't happened, trying to cause me psychosis while that female officer is in my house. So not only was she swat, were, 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 were they warned and a, an ambush was set up so she can't be killed, after she got here, when she entered my house, a male stating he was the representative, first he was Courtney husband, Courtney husband, then he was the mental health authority, then he was an employee of Helly Hansen. So this guy who showed up in my life that I can remember three times, one time he was Courtney Hunt's husband, they were having sex. Another time he was the mental health authority, and another time he was the employee for Helly Hansen, but regardless, regardless if he was actually, regard, now I don't know, he could be Courtney Hunt's husband in real life because they do have sex, I witnessed it with my own eyes, he could be the mental health authority or he could be a, the representative from Helly Hansen, I don't know, but I do know that, that after all of those other situations came, played out, he stood in front of my face, putting his hands on me, which he was trained not to do to anybody. And then he told me he had never been here before. I'd never been swatted before. He tried to induce psychosis with the female officer being the closest person to my right hand and my knife drawer and my screwdriver that I kept on me. You see how that works? Their situational awareness. They made sure the female officer, who was the witness, was the one closest to me. While he reached out and tried to touch me and tell me none of those things that I think happened ever happened. Mm. You see, he tried to induce... Now, Think about this. If I've been to your house before and I'm lying to your face that I never have after you had a traumatic brain injury, why would I lie to your face knowing that it could cause you a psychological break? Right. That's what I wanted. Now, see what I'm saying? That's what they wanted. He came here and he did the exact opposite of what his superiors, his insurance company, allows him to do in Washington state law, federal law. He broke all kinds of laws doing what he did as a representative of the state or the county. He lied, knowing his lies could possibly induce psychosis. He brought, he put the officers that somebody else needed killed in danger he, without realizing that I wouldn't do anything. But he set up the situation. You see what I'm saying? Right. He set it up. He set it up. And that's what's scary. This mental health authority is coming to my house, telling me I've never seen him before, we've never spoken before. He's trying to create psychosis. And I'm asking him, I'm looking at him in his face, just asking myself, why does this guy want me to go crazy right now? He's got a bulletproof vest on. He has his feet positioned to run out the door. The female officer is leaning on my wall, would have no idea what's going on. If I go mad, if I get mad right now, this guy's running out the door. He's already ready to run out the door, and he's running right past this female officer. The female officer, who's like, who 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 was told, you don't say shit. 
So I'm remembering now. Oh fuck. She her life was threatened. She participated in covering up a rape of somebody very important to me. See what I'm saying? They they yeah. triggered the memory of her covering it up at, with that guy lying over and over again, creating this psychosis. The mental health authority tried to induce this the mental break. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. That's wild, yeah. Yeah. Now, had, had it worked, what would that mental, as had I lost it, had it worked, what would that mental health authority tell the state and, every, and the police what happened to that female officer? Do you think he would have said, hey, did you know this officer's life was threatened if she spoke up about witnessing a rape by another officer? Hell no. <laughs> right then after that, did you know I actually I actually went to the house and I did the opposite of my job and my training. I actually tried to induce psychosis in the guy and then it happened. And that's what people don't understand. Like they they tried to get people killed on purpose. Not and it, you, you pay attention, they really did at, try to get me to kill people. Jeez. And it, it escalated into fucking citizens police officers, the firemen. No, they straight up run experiments. That's crazy. Yeah, and I let, I let, I let, I let people document it. Wow. And that's what, like, I don't think they understood, like, if I die, at least a lot of people, uh, I'm gonna die? At least people died watching me be tortured and my wife be tortured by these men and this officer now who's threatening the life of another female officer if she doesn't go along with it. Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, and then you wake up and go, okay, yeah, I survived. Now they can witness that female officer whose life was threatened be set up in a situation so she can be ambushed. When the ambush doesn't go through fruition, she, you can watch the mental health authority try to agitate me into losing it so that that female officer's life is taken. Multiple times they put her in a situation where they, where they tried to set off the situation multiple times. Wow. Multiple times. It's like you, get, you, get, you know, your kids get watching. You know, the military shows up and the police show up. They don't pay attention to the kids fucking listening from the bushes and in the grass and shit. And you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. The kids, are, the kids stick around for hours after the police leave. They go, who's, when you guys were hanging around to see if I would get up off the ground, who showed up? The fucking yeah. military, the FBI, they showed up and they started raping people. Huh? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. After the police left, you didn't get up, like 45 minutes you laid there, and then the military just showed up and they started fucking raping everybody again. You know what's cool. crazy is, uh, I did a lot of research on the whole Epstein thing, and that makes total sense because when a police officer turned over all the info of Epstein, they had like so many cases with the girls that he was bringing to his house and basically having sex with whoever they would, right? So the FBI, yeah, they, they but it, it, it takes the military. They, now, this is in, it, crazy in order for there to be an Epstein Island with sex slaves, there they have to utilize that that technique. I've, 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 I've deemed the ranger, right? Where you choke a girl out. And you wake them up halfway through sex. It's a real, it's a real, uh, uh, a hand combat uh, uh, martial arts technique employed by the Airborne Rangers. It's called the Ranger. Oh wow! It's how it's how Epstein gets. So that's how you get girls in those positions. It's called you choke them out, they undress them, and then they they wake them up while they're fornicating with the woman. And, wow. and they go literally, they, like they wake them up and they're like, I can't believe you agreed to this. This is the greatest thing in my life. Nobody's ever allowed me to have a foursome. And the girl's like, what? Like, I, I agreed to this. Oh, and they're wow. like, yeah, no. we're here. What you know? Fuck? Yeah. They're like, literally, they choke them out and then they wake them up going, I can't believe you. You invited us over for this. This is the greatest day of my life. The girl's waking up on, con unconscious like, what? Then they choke them out again. The, the last memory the girl has of going out. I invited some people over to have an orgy. Not really. That was just what they were telling you when they choked you out, forcing you to have an orgy. So when you woke up again, having sex with them, the last thing you you, you remember, I invited these men, these airborne rangers to have an orgy. 
No, you didn't. They choked you out while saying that and then woke you up in the middle of doing that. That's what you remembered when, before you were knocked out. And that's what you were doing when you woke up. Wow. Like, <laughs> see what I'm saying? It's rape. Yeah. But they, they did it in a way where you don't know you're being raped. Jeez. It's rape. It's called the Ranger. Special Forces yeah. move. It's called the Ranger. You choke a woman out and you wake them up and while they're waking up, you're thanking them for in, for inviting you over for orgies and group sex and fornicating with animals and shit like that. And while you're thanking them, you knock them out again. So that's the last thing they hear out of your voice. That's all they remember. And they wake up. They wake up with the memory of somebody telling them, thanks for inviting us over for all this nasty shit. That's terrible. It's, yeah. It's fucking awful. Like, it's the ranger, though. Literally. It's called the ranger. Spread the word so women can protect themselves. It's called the ranger. It's a special m move by the military. It's called That's the ranger. Right. Hey, Martin. It was good talking to you, man. I have to get going. My Me phone's too. blowing up, so. <laughs> no problem. God bless we'll, you. Have a great day. You, man. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye. I gotta go. Bye. He's done, eh? Command, control, escape.